Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. I'm just reading Nikon rumors and an update on the much anticipated, much discussed Nikon mirrorless camera. Now we've already had a few bits and pieces come out us that we think are fairly confirmed. There's a bit of new stuff now. Um, apparently Nikon is going to target or is targeting the Sony a7 III. Now this makes a lot of sense because the Sony a7 III is perhaps the best mirrorless camera to date for best value, best features for price. Uh, it, it pretty much nails everything. So if they're going to come after something competitive to the a7 III, if they're going to come after the a7 III, make something to compete with it, uh, 24 megapixel sensor, $2,000 price point, uh, that's going to be a very good first offering as long as they've got it polished and mature and they come to market with a very good offering. That would also include uh, having something comparable to Sony's continuous autofocus in video mode or Canon's dual pixel AF. Um, and I think if they can do that, we're going to see a very, very nice, very interesting offering uh, on the mirrorless side when Nikon brings this out. They're also saying that uh, Nikon is going to have new features and functions. Uh, it's rumored to have new features and functions on this camera never seen before. Now, what we don't know is if that never seen before is referring to Nikon in the sense of Nikon's never had this before, or if this is with mirrorless or cameras in general. They're bringing out totally new stuff that's never been on a camera before, which that would be really cool. Um, what else do we have? Ergonomics uh, are going to be great. It's being designed with ergonomics in mind. That doesn't surprise me from Nikon. Uh, at least one new mirrorless zoom lens with a power zoom for video recording. And um, they are saying that Nikon Japan should be putting out and sharing more information with other parties uh, within one, one month's time. So that's pretty cool because we should get some more solid information, hopefully, uh, within a month. And I know there's a lot of people waiting to see what happens with this. A lot of people hedging their bets, haven't gone to Sony or thinking about coming back to Nikon. Because Nikon could really, really knock this one out of the park. This could bring people back to Nikon. This could stop people leaving Nikon. Uh, it's just, um, and you know, it's exciting for the industry in general because I always like to see more competition, more uh, excellent cameras, excellent tech, more excellence when they build these things. So I'm, I'm really pumped to see what Nikon does here. And I have very high expectations. I've always been a Nikon fan. I like Nikon stuff. I've shot many, many years with um, Nikon bodies, various bodies over the years. And I'm really hopeful here that Nikon um, really, really, really pulls a, uh, a winner out of the bag here, as it were. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, does this new updates make you hopeful? Are you still waiting for a Nikon mirrorless? Do you care? Uh, have you already gone to Sony? Are you considering going back depending on what uh, Nikon offers here? Uh, let us know. Comments below. Very interested to hear your take on it as always. Um, curious to hear what you guys have to say about this new uh, info or rumors on the Nikon mirrorless. Uh, are you as excited as I am? Let me know. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.